I'm just heating the hot glue gun up. Now I've worked out a way that I can use these old buckets that haven't got a hole in the centre which I need for the new operation. These ones used to sit on the side of the bench and drain out into an external 3 inch PVC pipe down here. This time they're going to drain out the bottom directly straight down. So instead of having to trash all our old buckets, I've worked out a way to be able to reuse them. And that is, I'll remove most of this 13 mil line that we've got on here, like so. Then I'll turn it up that way. And then once the hot glue gun is ready to roll, about now, then I'll put some hot glue inside the line here. Initially, I'll squeeze some hot glue in there. Make sure it's feeding, yep. We'll let that cool for a moment. It'll only take a moment or so. Cool it that way. And then once that solidifies, what we'll do then is we'll insert the nozzle of the hot glue gun down inside the line here and feed the hot glue into it. And just let it run round. Check to see if there's an air gap in it. That'll solidify pretty soon. I'll just pop that up. And it'll run down. I'll put that one aside for a moment. That seems to be running in alright. I'll put that aside for the moment. Let that cool off. Now I've already cut this one. It had a piece of poly pipe on it about that long, but I've cut that off. So what we're going to do now using a heat gun, turn it down, we don't want it too hot. We'll just run over this piece of pipe here, the elbow in it, as far as it'll go. Twist it round. Got another one to do, I might as well do the two of them at once. Tiny bit more gas. Feels like the nozzle's getting stuck actually. All right. Push the elbow into it, nice and soft now. There we go. Turn off the gas. Now we'll repeat the operation. Inside the line here, feed some hot glue into it. Let that cool off, won't take long. I'll get another stick of glue while I'm waiting. We'll dive into the other one. Get the dirt out of it. Same thing again. Hot glue into the, the inside of the tube there. Give it a second to cool off. Lay it down. then hot glue gun back into the tube and fill it up with hot glue which is cooling rapidly down the other end and will form a bead down there so the rest of the hot glue can't run out and then change back to the other bucket a little bit of air coming out there from time to time. It's dropping down. Not quite ready yet for another stick. Into there. There you can see the hot glue. I'll put a bit more on top there. We'll let that cool. Grab the other one. Once again. 
squeeze some hot glue into it. Push that the glue stick down. That is looking all right. We'll let those dry. Next part of the operation is we're going to drill a 13 mil hole in there. We're going to pull some 13 mil poly into it there. Wait till I get a pair of pliers. We'll pull that through. Then we'll heat up a nail, drive a nail through the top there to hold the top in so it can't come out. And we'll have about two and a half inches of tube sticking out the bottom here, like so. So I'll get a, a quick measurement on that initially. Two and a half inches will be there. And I'll cut that one off first up. Around there, square that off just to neaten it up a little bit better. And then that bucket is now ready to be filled with scoria and have a plant in it. Once I take these couple of bits of green string off that we use to for support for the plants, all right, that one there is ready to roll. Now, on to the next lot. The first 20 buckets are ready now. They've got the new drainers in them. There they are, lined up there, two rows of 10. We've had a metre of scoria delivered sitting in the driveway, so Georgie will be washing that tomorrow while I'm cleaning up the, the rest of the pots and planting the tomato seedlings. As you can see that tomorrow, well, by Sunday we're going to have a rather nice display of greenery in here. We'll have winter vegetables being the cauliflowers over there and the summer vegetables which will be the tomatoes down here. All right that's all I can do for that for the moment. Now I'll get back to creating this this false wall at the back here to reduce the size of the barn a little bit to make it council compliant. So I'll do some of that. Then tomorrow we'll be able to get round to planting our tomato seedlings. <laughs> 